Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. Every week in this channel, I release some videos regarding health, disease, health related, simplified content. This week's video is about a brilliant, no, a game changing no, discovery of this century. Uh, what is that? The last century, in fact. What is that? That is ORS or Oral Rehydration Solution. The father of ORS, Dilip Mahalanabis, passed away on 16th of October. That's why, you know, probably, you no, know, I thought about releasing this video about ORS. You no, know, he revolutionized the use about oral rehydration during the India-Pakistan uh, War to liberate Bangladesh in 1971. In the soldiers, cholera spread for their rehydration to correct them dehydration. They used ORS, and subsequently these results were out. And subsequently, ORS was endorsed by even the WHO, and today it is endorsed. And this has in fact reduced the deaths due to diarrhea, which was the number one killer in under five children, to now being somewhere relegated down below, as well as no removed you no know, hundreds of beds reserved for diarrheas in institutions in hospitals in countries like india with the simple invention of ors of, of course obviously hygiene and sanitation played a role but ors was the chief contributor to this decrease in death rates how does ors work how is it so wonderful we have to understand even during diarrhea even when you are purging lots of liquids still the sodium glucose co-transporter inside your gut is still working. That is, this transporter channel transports sodium and glucose inside. So, if you have a fluid which contains sodium and glucose in equimolar concentration, when I say about sodium and glucose, we think, okay, sugar and salt, no, it is not as simple as that, okay, in equimolar concentration. So, you need a specific concentration okay if you have that you can use it to your advantage as sodium and glucose gets absorbed water is also absorbed along with it so you, you are not only regaining your energy you are also regaining fluids even though you are losing fluids still you are gaining back if you take ors so that is the principle behind oral rehydration solution can you make it at home in today's day and age, it is futile. It is not required to make it at home. It is easily available across the globe. WHO endorses it. Even all the national health programs give it mostly free of cost to the most vulnerable of the population. So you can even get it at chemist or the pharmacist. How is it good for diarrhea? No, because most of the diarrheas are viral in nature. They are self-limiting in nature. But the problem in diarrhea is due to the dehydration it causes. ORS prevents dehydration as well as treats the dehydration if it has already happened. That's how it helps. Okay, whom to give? To all persons who are suffering from diarrhea regardless of age, sex, no, whatever. So, you can give them to all, even adults, elderly, all of them can take. Unless probably the person has renal or kidney failure, unless you are specifically, your physician recommends it. Otherwise, all other persons can take ORS following a diarrheal episode. Is it only for diarrhea? It can be used for dehydration due to any cause, like due to no heavy sunlight, you have gone out in sunlight, you have become dehydrated or because of fever, you haven't taken enough water, you have become dehydrated. So, dehydration due to any cause can be treated with ORS. Okay, how to treat, how much to give? If the person has already developed dehydration, if the person is already dehydrated, at least 50 ml per kg. So, if a child is 10 kg, so 500 ml should be given over 4 hours. For severe dehydration, this can give, even go up to 100 ml per kg. But if you are not dehydrated, for each loose tool to prevent dehydration from happening, 
you can still take 10 ml per kg for each loose tool so you have passed three loose tools 30 ml per kg for a 10 kg child 300 ml okay so this should be given so this will prevent dehydration okay will it help in preventing or stopping diarrhea definitely yes here you are transporting fluid back in you are also giving calories you are also giving sugar you are also helping to know about this episode of diarrhea so in a way you are treating diarrhea so unless the patient is not able to take ORS at all you no know, severe vomiting even in mild vomiting you can stop giving the ORS start again after some time in smaller alicots like through spoons instead of gulping it through sips of spoons slowly increase but if you can't give it at all due to severe vomiting you need to visit the hospital otherwise for all others we need to start ORS if the person develops diarrhea can i give other foods or no mother's milk along with ORS if a child is taking mother's milk mother's milk should not be stopped no it should be continued along with ORS for older children and adults if you are in dehydration probably during that correction ORS can be given after that foods can be stopped but at any point of time foods need not be stopped completely you can continue your feeding but for each loose tool you also should give ORS what is the only you no know, uh, precaution to take while giving ORS or while getting ORS just see in the label whether it is labeled as WHO recommended ORS because there are many other commercially available solutions similar sounding names but with different you no know, these molar concentrations so they might not be that helpful so see whether that is clearly mentioned as WHO recommended ORS if it is mentioned as WHO recommended ORS both powders which can be mixed in water as well as ready to drink solutions are available if it is WHO recommended ORS you can boldly give to any person having diarrhea hopefully this would have cleared your confusions and doubts regarding ORS if you found this video useful if you think this video will be of use to someone kindly like this video share it among your friends and relatives and subscribe to this channel for watching now similar videos in future till we meet again thanks